Hey Al, good question. You know, eating healthy doesn't have to be expensive. Think about all them recipes that you already cook now, and you have to remove the sodium, a little bit of the sugar, and a lot of the fat. But if we need to replace the salt and sugar, we look at things like honey, low sodium soy sauce, and, and things like that. Fresh herbs, uh, vinegars, spices, and juices are a great way to add sugars and uh, different dynamics or different dimensions to flavor. Great ways to change what was a fatty dish into a healthy dish. And it's not expensive. Hey Lisa, well we're all pushed for time in our lifestyles right now. Whether you have children or not, some people go to work, some people take care of kids. What's really important is that you take your body and the weight of your body and you use that. You do not have to go to a gym. You can do push-ups, you can do pull-ups, you can do sit-ups, you can do tricep dips. There are a lot of things that you can do to utilize that 20 minutes. You can also, if you have stairs in your home, walk up and down them stairs for 20 minutes. Raising your heart rate will burn fat, keep you healthier, and give you that exercise you need. Hey Melissa, diet and exercise to me are very important. They're part of my lifestyle and I make a conscious effort every day to get to the gym early in the morning, eat what I want to eat, but I do drop my carbs at noon and I eat all the way up until I go to bed. So smaller meals, more frequently, less fat. It's a really easy to do so. A lot of people have this misconception that you don't eat before you go to bed. You do. Handful of nuts, uh, some cottage cheese just before you go to bed will stop your body turning that uh, energy into fat as it stores overnight because it goes into a fasting period so make sure you eat smaller meals more frequently and you get 20 minutes to an hour of exercise every day and that doesn't mean you have to go to a gym you can walk you can run around with kids if you have kids uh, just raise your heart rate 20 minutes a day minimum and you'll be great Hey Mary, what a great question. Uh, for me, I think you're doing it wrong. I want you to change, instead of stop doing cardio, I want you to find that balance between cardio and your lifting weights. And I'll tell you for why. You need to have the energy, and the cardio is gonna give you that when you're working hard for 20 minutes, and that's what I do 20 minutes before I do my work out on my arms, my back, my shoulders, whatever it is, I do 20 minutes of cardio. It wakes me up, it gets me sweating, it gets me warm, and off I go to my weights. There's also something else you need to do. Whilst you're eating enough, okay, in small meal ways, you need to use some type of supplement, whether it be uh, protein bars, whey protein, soy protein. What I'm looking for is that if you do an extra 20 minutes of cardio, that you don't lose everything that you've worked so hard on the weights. That's what you need to do, I think. Try it, try it for a week, and it will be very hard, I can tell you now. You'll be saying, well, I'm not hungry, and your body will say, I'm not hungry. You do that for a week and you push through it, I guarantee the second week you try this, your body will be asking for food. So Chris, for me, when I work out early in the morning, it gives me the energy and the focus for the rest of the day. How do I get my, uh, my passion for it or my commitment? For me, it's all about the brain. My brain runs at a thousand miles an hour on a plane, whether I'm uh, doing my show, whether I'm doing some appearance. And I really believe that if I didn't work out, I wouldn't be as alert, I wouldn't be as uh, fast acting. Uh, and it's all about having fun. Fitness is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be a chore. Yes, you've got to get out of bed in the morning and hopefully it's earlier than uh, later. I like to work out early in the morning because it just sets me up for the rest of the day. Eat healthy. Um, you want to look good. You want to feel good. That's why I work out.